we have Bubba with sauce tonight. It's Bubba Keith and Mike Sauce, and I'd like you to put your hands together and give them a nice warm welcome. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Great. Great. Well, I don't feel like I'm playing a show. I, I feel like I'm playing my family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got to start acting real weird, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> tell stories like, I remember when you were just... <laughs> See, the, the reality is, is I didn't remember it then. How could I possibly remember it now? There you go. <laughs> Can y'all hear that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, <clears throat> give you a little history. Um, I was born in 1950. Oh my God, we're not I'm, starting I'm there. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so all you pups, y'all better behave. <laughs> no, actually, uh, my name is Bubba Keith and this is Mike Sauce. And uh, why are we here, I forgot. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you thought I was kidding, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, we're going to play mainly um, original songs. Now, we both had albums out and everything, so we'll play some stuff you might have heard before. So so if we wrote it, it's still ours. So, Why don't you, know. you brag on yourself and, and let everybody know uh, who you guys used to... Play with and what? Out. Brag about me? Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Really? <laughs> well, okay. That's easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is her fault, okay? <laughs> Actually, um, now the bands that you, you would re maybe remember and recall, uh, I was with a band called The James Gang. Uh, I did an album with them called Newborn. Uh, and then after that, I was with a band called England Dan and John Ford Coley. And I traveled with them for several years and did some television and all that. <laughs> I tell you what, I, I wish I could just show you this video. When we were doing, we, I think we were doing the Captain and Tennille show or something. And they said, whatever you do, don't look at the camera, right? <laughs> so here's Dan, there's John, and I'm kind of in the back, right? And I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know why in the world they didn't fire me that 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 day. And I guess the last band that you might know of, and it was in the '80s, it was a band called Point Blank, and we had a song called Nicole, mm -hmm. incidentally, which was about my daughter. And uh, you know, she was going to come tonight, but she says, I can't stand to look at you at another show, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. She's very, very, yeah, she, she, she would have come if she could. All right, Mike? Well, <clears throat> and I've played at three county fairs and two rodeos. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say at the rodeo, don't you? Anything goes. Let her buck. <laughs> Let her buck. Now, is that a great segue or not? Can you believe I just did that? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This one is called Fool's Paradise. Are you guys ready for us to start We're playing? We're ready. Yeah. Well, I stay ready, Mama Rudy. Come on, baby. <laughs> Two, <laughs> Two, three, four. I see the light of the moon and sun It makes me wonder by the only one The last boy in life Can I survive? Plays just like Chuck Atkins, <laughs> don't he? the evening do it makes me stop and think of you the last love of life can it survive Ooh, I wish I could do that <laughs> you can Paradise Living here 
sure is nice When will we know When it's time to go back home I hear the sound of a distant wind Reminiscent of a long lost friend The last girl alive Will she survive? Oops. <laughs> he almost did three for three <laughs> That's just too much to ask <laughs> Fool's paradise Sure is nice. When will we know? When it's time to go back home. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fool's paradise. Living here. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. So anyway, I was born in Fort Worth. It's supposed to be funny, aren't you? Uh, I did an album with the James Gang and uh, the James Gang. Yeah, I can't believe that. I got so tired of hearing, "Where's Walsh?" <laughs> you took his spot, right? Well, yeah. Actually, um, quick story. I was with a band called Uncle Tom in Los Angeles, and they, when, when Joe left originally, they called me and the guitar player named Richard Shack, and. Um, of course, we were so off into this band. It was a great band, way ahead of our times. And of course, I was making like a hundred bucks a month, you know. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't need the money or nothing, you know. <laughs> so anyway, he said, "No, we're staying here, man. We're, we're we're in this for our work, our art, our music." And after about another year and a half, I said, "You know what? I'm really tar I'm really tired of starving to death." So, and so we went and we did an album with Then Call Newborn. Oh, but, oh I got to tell you one more story. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of Salvador Dali? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, he actually did, we got to use one of his paintings, the uh, New Birth of the Geopoliticus Child, I think is what it was called. And so, but so Salvador says, well, well, he, he called out Lars and said, you have to come to New York so I can meet you and see if you're worthy to use my, my work. I said, okay, sure, whatever. So we go, fly to New York, and this is in the afternoon, I think it was the Waldorf, Waldorf, a story, right. story. Okay, something like that anyway. So I walk in, and there's Salvador, Remember his famous gold wolf head cane, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the well, old people were walking by, he's tripping them. He's, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and laughing. I said, well, okay, how you doing? Oh, Mr. Dali. He said, we talk later. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, okay. So we go to the bar that night. Am I boring you guys? No, no, no. <laughs> Good, because I'm, I'm, no, I'm boring you. <coughs> Wake me up when you're ready to play again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I promise this will be the shortest story until the next one. <laughs> so anyway, um, so he says, okay, we're going to meet at the bar. So we meet at the bar at the allotted time, and there was him and another guy sitting there. I figured it might be his lawyer or whatever. And they made a big deal about us. Everybody bringing up chairs. Everybody being buying drinks. Everybody taking their first drink. And then <clears throat> Salvador says... I can't talk to you. I said, no, wait a minute. I fly from Cleveland to New York. We go through all this. He says, I can't talk to you. You'll have to call my lawyer. Yeah. I was not real happy with him. And he is as weird as, like, as you think he is. But anyway, um, later that night, about 2 o'clock in the morning, his wife, who was about as psycho as he was, called my room. <laughs> oh, my God! Have you seen Salvador? He's, he's, I can't find him! I can't find him! I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the road with the James gang. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I forgot we were going to play. What are we playing? I knew, oh, it. I knew yeah. you would. This is a song on that album, okay? Two, three, four. <laughs> A friend of mine 
You caught me drinking wine You saw me on the line But that was yesterday Now I'm waiting on today With a smile Everyone, they're looking for the Lord They're looking way too hard They're seen over Him And they just can't begin From the start I'm gonna get by With this feeling I'm gonna try To find my way And if I see you Along that road Well we just might lose our way But we'll start again today And I think that we'll understand Country brother, he's moving kind of slow Cause he's got nowhere to go Gonna carry his load Gonna help you with yours For a while City sister, moving kind of fast Cause she's living in the past She's trying to make it last Cause she's waiting on the flash in the sky I'm gonna get by with this feeling I'm gonna try to find my way and if I see you along that road where we just might meet the blues well I'll only stop the news and I think Yes, I think that you'll understand Yes, I think that you understand Okay? Oh, yeah. oh I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, when, what'd, you go, what'd you say? <laughs> you know, he and I both have a, kind of a history in rock and roll. He, he's very, very modest. He's not going to tell you what he's done, but he did some work with Three Dog Night. And uh, he had a band called First Rush, which was great. And had a, had a really good sounding album with that. <clears throat> so when we decided to do this, this was kind of, kind of a shock. You know, it's like, hey, turn it up! I can't! <laughs> so what we've learned is, number one, you're only as good as a song you sing. Simple as that. I don't care how good you are. And we've had to learn a whole different way of doing things. And what's really good is what I love about this is y'all are right there. You know? I can look at you and you can look at me and if I got a booger, you'll tell me. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody like kind of bluesy stuff, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a song called, actually, um, everything we do, we wrote, except for one. I'll take that back. 
Except for two. Two. Yeah, two. This is called You Better Stop. Or I'm getting sick. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on now to uh, Point Blank. <clears throat> I, I got funny stories about them, but I can't. Is there any kids in the house? Okay. <laughs> Maybe later. You guys keep drinking a lot, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, um, this is the first single that came out. They, when I joined the band, they couldn't finish the album, so they called me, and I actually had decided to retire at the age of 30 for professional music. And uh, bought the little ranch, had the kids. My wife's about to have another kid, my uh, middle, my oldest son. And uh, they called me and said, man, you got to come on. It's going to be great. You're going to be five years, two albums, lots of money. So I talked to my, my ex-wife, 
Speaking of, speaking of money, <laughs> suddenly how Missing things cars, change. Missing cars, kids, land, house. Hmm. Never mind. Anyway, um, this is the first single. All right. This is called "Let Me Stay With You Tonight." Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> But you know what it is I really need I need you and you need me Cause in your heart you know I'm right In your mind you just wanna fight I just wanna stay here tonight Say it's alright Let me stay with you tonight I recognize this one, and I don't care who did it before, they didn't do it like him, okay? Y'all having a good time? Yeah! yeah. Good. How about you? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in it for the money, man. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> I, just, yeah, I, have, I have kind of a getting old. I'm older than you are. So. Well, hell, that's, that's not saying much. I mean, my prime. <laughs> I'm just one year past your prime. <laughs> <laughs> change You're the reason I 
I hate you. <laughs> We're gonna play a song about. We'll that talk later. about that later. <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do now, Charlie Brown? Hmm. Well, actually, thanks a lot. <laughs> Easier said than done. Actually, see that's when you go to your original material because you guys don't really know it yet. We need to help though. Oh, that's true. Now. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, and we're not going to take what we're about to sing lightly, okay? Um, we understand that the pandemic, the COVID, has been very, very hard on a lot of people. 
in a lot of different ways. And, um, but this was his idea, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fabulous idea. So, <laughs> we're not trying to make fun of everybody's suffering and all that. We're just trying to have a little bit of fun. At, at my expense, of course. <laughs> so anyway, now, here's, here's, the, here's what you guys got to sing with us. You go, COVID, COVID blues. Can you do that? Here we go. Okay. COVID, COVID blues. Then we go like this. COVID, COVID blues. It's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> COVID, COVID blues. Y'all can do that, there right? There you go. Yes. All right. Don't hate us, okay? <laughs> I, mean, I, I gotta tell you this, ironically, because this was kind of his idea, really was. <laughs> and about two weeks after we started doing this, he got COVID. <laughs> hey man, I really get into my music. <laughs> you, gotta live, you gotta live it to write it, don't you? Actually, what happened is I, I wrote this little song one night sitting in front of the TV and they came on, they came on the TV and said, uh, stay home, save lives, and I wrote this little what it was a public service yeah, announcement. We I thought, too, yeah. and we put that on our on our on our Facebook thing. But this song, after that, we after I got over the COVID, of course, we decided we'd uh, we. Oh, I decided we'd write a song. <laughs> <laughs> And this is what he said You're looking mighty peaking And you got a fever on your head You got the COVID What am I gonna do? <laughs> it's all you <laughs> I didn't keep my social distance I got the COVID blues Try and drown my sorrows Get myself some whiskey Cause I might not be here tomorrow I forgot to wear my mask As I stumbled through the door He said, son, you got the COVID You can't come around here no more Well, I ain't got no mask But I, I got, got the COVID blues You guys ready now? Here we go COVID Distance. I got the COVID blues. 
ain't show no mercy, but no mercy. <laughs> got no mercy. I got the COVID blue. so much fun being sick you know <laughs> and once again we you know we're not trying to spirit anybody's feelings and you know if you want to wear, wear a mask it's fine if you don't find that ain't none of my business my business is sit up here and have fun <laughs> and, and let you guys have fun with me <laughs> remember this was his idea <laughs> just in case just in case <laughs> can you hold my guitar okay I try to get told you. I think I might have gotten. It does. I think you'll be wrong. No, you're there, I think. Okay. <laughs> now, my, yes. this next song. Yes, yes. I wrote this when I was 18. That's uh, 53 years ago. No, 52 years ago. 52 years ago. Yeah, math is not his strong suit. That's true. <laughs> Apparently not. Tuning guitars either, kind of thing. Sir? Sir? He only has his funeral suit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I would I would do this song, and I would do about I'd go like this. And then I started laughing hysterically because it just sounded so weird. So I called the guys in the band in, and they started laughing hysterically. This song is actually called Moon Juice. Now. What it, what it's a uh, reference, referencing is anything that you know you shouldn't do and you do it anyway, mm -hmm. that's moon juice. Now back in the old days, long long time ago, moon juice was something really bad. But I ain't gonna tell you what it was, because you might not like me no more. <laughs> you might not like me now. <laughs> I don't even like me now. Well, it's unanimous then. <laughs> <laughs> two moon juice. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
But you and I, now we can't get high But we can't leave that moon juice alone But you and I, now we can't get high But we can't leave that moon juice alone Um, you know, I know all of us, you know, we're, we're not spring chickens, at least. <laughs> I guess I'm an old crow, I guess is what I am. <laughs> but, you know, here's the thing. I, I think most of us can remember when life was more simple. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it, seemed, it just seems like it's getting more and more complex and more, everything just seems to be going so crazy. And, and I know, I, I know that, I know I would. I know a lot of us wish we could go back to those simpler times when, number one, you worked and your family worked with you. You ate dinner together. You know, you said your prayers together. You know, all those things. You know, and um, I was fortunate enough, we had a, a, a ranch in East Texas and I got to spend a lot of time by myself. Obviously, that's one of the problems here. But, <laughs> but yet, that's another story. <laughs> But you guys don't get to hear that. <laughs> anyway, it was in Upshur County. And uh, what I'm wondering, you know, every song is a little different. Like the last song we did is kind of a fun, silly song. And then, of course, other songs are different. But this song, this is a picture song, okay? So when you hear me singing this song and you hear what I'm singing about, try to picture yourself there with me or with your family, okay? If we can't go b back there uh, realistically, we can go back there figuratively, can't we? Mm -hmm. You know? Amen. Alright? I am just a farmer in Upshur County A man who only lives to see things grow My home, my land, my house, and my precious family Is the only life I'll ever know We work the warm black soil From daylight till we see the setting sun The children bring us jars of cool spring water Across the hills we see the work's been done
I wish I was there right now. <laughs> well, actually, I like where I'm at right now. Sorry, I was kidding. <laughs> it isn't amazing I get both of these boots in my mouth at the same time. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I think I want to do, you know, let's do the truth. <clears throat> now, this song, it, I, I've worked on this song, on, I guess, over a year, I guess, maybe. See, the good thing about it is if you quit playing music for, as a, for a living, you don't have to worry about the deadlines anymore. You don't have somebody, producer, saying, okay, we got to have 15 songs on such and such date. <laughs> right? <clears throat> so he show up with 20, he goes, most of those aren't very good. We need some more. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> so what's cool about, you know, of course, it's really cool playing with him because he's really good. And, uh, but now, if we want to pour over, say, one line in the song, if we need to wait a day or two, we will. Because to me, um, I think the work you do later in your life needs to be your best work, no matter what you do. And um, so I'm going to start preaching here just a minute. Well, you guys better get to that thing. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> but this song is basically about when you, when you start looking for your faith and you come to the cliff and you got to step off the cliff, it's that first big step of faith, ain't it? Right? That's what this song's about. It's called The Truth. My skin is cold and tight Like a cobra on a bed of ice And my soul is soaring Like an eagle in the sky Maybe I've reached the point of no return I'm not afraid I'm ready And I go where destiny takes me As long as it's with you Through our eternity Together And on our way home you find the
together And on our way home We'll find the Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, it took me a, over a year to finish it, you know, because I, where, I, where I was living out there in the country in between uh, Walnut Springs and, uh, and Glen Rose, I was a mile from the nearest house and no, nobody lived there. And so I, every day I didn't have internet, didn't have cable, didn't have a cell phone. Now this is a few years back, not a whole lot. They didn't have cell phones back then. That was <laughs> what he's not telling you. That's in that's in like aught six, right? But right after the Great Chicken Stampede. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure you remember. Yeah. You should have seen what they did to my my pants. Yeah. Anyway, that's the cool thing about it. Like, and and I'm just saying, I'm just telling you guys this to kind of understand, you know, the process of when when you're writing a song. Now I know a lot of guys. Boy, they got to write a song every day. And it's got to be a hit. You know, got to be a hit. You know. I'm thinking. Hmm. Should I say? It, or maybe. Hmm. But the point of being, we do our best work, number one, uh, because we have the, the experience and the knowledge that it takes, that you accrue, hopefully, through the years. Apparently, I'm still working on that. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, I think it's important, like, to leave to my, my kids and my grandkids and on and on and on, some songs that they'll be proud of, number one, and maybe will sound good then like it does to me now. You know, that's important because uh, I sure ain't got no money to leave them. And maybe not. <laughs> Remember, I'm a musician. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have any money. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's do. Don't look down. You want it? I could try to do it, but I'm okay. Not quite there. All right. Okay. Here's another song from Point Blank. Actually, this is one of my favorites. <clears throat> I try to do a little bit of something from every every band and every album that I've done on, and this was on the Honor Roll album. And uh, this is one of my favorites, okay? Maybe it'll be theirs, too. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I'm going to screw it up just because of that. Oh, I no, not just because of that. <laughs> Not the end. This I know. Don't 
this fun. This, can we take a break for just a little Absolutely. while? Okay. You guys talk amongst yourselves. 